Oh, wow, what do you know? It's time for the Pocket Knife Show. Hey, it's Mike on the mic again for another episode of the Pocket Knife Podcast. What do you do when you wake up and see five degrees on your phone? Pull the covers over your head and go back to sleep, right? But it's Friday and you have to go to work. Get out of bed. What if you open your weather app and discover it's three degrees? You cry, don't you? Poor thing. This happened to me a couple of weeks ago. I saw five degrees and thought, I could run five miles and match that. Then I opened my app and saw three degrees, and I kid you not, I pumped my fist and said, yes! I was planning to run three miles that day already. I could run the temp. And that's exactly what I did. I have pictures to prove it. Screenshots of my GPS data and my weather app, and a quick selfie complete with frozen beard. Beard sickles are the best. I've been told a time or two that I'm crazy. I'll admit that I might have crossed the fine line between sanity and insanity a time or two, but it is a fine line, and I'm not always sure which side is best to be on when it comes to running. In the realm of faith, though, I'm confident that the side others might call nutty is the best one to be on. Those who choose to follow God by faith, no matter how crazy his directions seem, are the ones who get to have all the fun. Consider this story from Matthew 14, 22 to 29. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, he was there alone, and the boat was already considerable distance from land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came toward Jesus. It's the faith-filled folks who get to walk on water. Those who trust in big ways, see the sick healed, experience freedom from addiction, overcome sin. It's the timid, those who try to remain respectable in man's eyes, who miss out on the big things God wants to do in and through them. So, be bold, believer. Cross that fine line and trust God outrageously today and tomorrow and the next day. Let people see what God can do with a man or with a woman who is completely sold out for Jesus and willing to follow wherever he says to go. Oh no, it's that I know we've come to the end of the show. See you next time.